I think the field of monoclonal antibody in myeloma is also as a turning point by itself. Uh, for years, people have tried to develop monoclonal antibodies in myeloma, uh, and the results have not been that promising or exciting. Now we have spectacular data there as well. Uh, from my perspective, I think the monoclonal antibodies that target the CD38 antigen that's present on most myeloma cells at diagnosis, uh, virtually every plasma cell has that. In relapse disease, there could be occasions where it's not present because the cells have changed their way of presenting proteins. It's very, very rare. So it's a commonly expressed protein, uh, and these studies show that uh, you have very high response in heavily pretreated patients with single drug. And now we have studies showing combinations with other drugs as well, such as Revlimid and dexamethasone and these classes of drugs and the results were spectacular. So I do think that that class of drugs, if everything holds up, if they continue to show the same in the studies that are ongoing and in future studies, I think it's very likely that a monoclonal antibody targeting CD38 could be added to virtually any combination that is being used with a small molecule or, or chemotherapy. Uh, and that would be similar to what we have been doing in the field of lymphoma treatment. We have added, for example, rituximab or other CD20 antibodies to, to the other drugs that were used and developed in the 1960s, for example. Uh, there are also other antibodies out there. There is the anti-CS1, the adotuzumab drug. Uh, there are anti kir there are PD-1 uh, blockers, uh, and there are other drugs as well. Uh, I think there's a lot of excitement around other classes of drugs as well. Uh, I think that information is a little bit earlier, uh, so I think we need to, to follow that a little bit closer, maybe for another year or so. Uh, I think the, the field of monoclonal antibody has landed in the myeloma uh, field, uh, for sure, uh, and I envision that this is going to become part of the standard treatment.